two things today. Go over the authentic version of yerba mate, how the thermos plays into it. So that way you guys can see, we're gonna use a clear glass mate. If it is your first time drinking yerba mate, my suggestion is that you have two tablespoons of yerba. As you drink more and more and get more used to the flavor, you're going to fill it up. Fill it until it goes in. Either tap it from the bottom or shake it. It's an extra step, it's up to you. And before I put hot water in, I'm going to put in a little bit of room temperature. This kind of prepares the leaves so that way it doesn't release all the caffeine at once and it doesn't get too bitter. I'm gonna fill up the thermos. How I know my water is ready is that it starts to steam. If you're using an electric kettle, you'll hear it get really loud, that's how you know. Once the water boils, it's almost too hot. The yerba will release too much caffeine and it'll get too bitter. Temperature of the water is really important. Some people like it a little bit colder, others like it a little bit hotter. You'll kind of figure it out as you go along. The most important thing is to not let it boil. That's definitely too hot. Thermos is amazing. Drink yerba kind of anywhere I want to go in the house or if I want to go out. Thermos will keep the water at the same temperature. This water will eventually cool off, but I want the thermos. I'm also going to want a thermos that has a pour spout. And if I press in, that's the pour spout. And the reason you're gonna want a pour spout is because you are going to want the water to go into the mate cup in a thin stream. You don't wanna get all the leaves wet at once. If the opening is too wide and there's too much water that gets in, it'll splash everywhere and make a mess. As oxygen is getting in and you'll see little bubbles of air kind of popping up, that's when you're going to put the bombilla. The bombilla has two sides. One is the filter and the other is the mouthpiece. You're going to put filter side down till it touches the bottom. You don't want to touch the bombilla again. Sip that. Gosh, this is so good. All the water, any water that lingers will get bitter. So you only want to pour as much as you're going to drink. Pour right before you want to drink. So now I can take this desk and work. If you have any questions or you want any more information, visit us at www.solmateherba.com. Always happy to talk, chit chat, share information, hear what you're up to. Enjoy. Ciao.